Good evening. I have the time at 7.30, so I will call the public hearing and regular business meeting of the Mayor and Council for the City of Snellville, Georgia, Monday, January 10th, 2022, to order. Oh, we don't have anybody lined up for an invocation. Anyone want to give a quick invocation? Dave. Gretchen, can you Gretchen. give it? We'll have Gretchen Schultz give us an invocation. Dear Lord, we gather here t tonight, hopefully for a quick meeting and a celebration afterwards. We, we ask you to guide us all in making, making decisions tonight that are in the best interest of Snellville. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. <clears throat> Is that okay? <laughs> and now we'll have the pledge to the flag, if you'll please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> And now we'll move to the minutes. Is there a motion on approval of the minutes? Motion to approve the minutes of, let me get it. What's the date? The December 10th and the, De the December 10th meetings and the December 20th special call meeting. There's a motion to approve the meetings. Is there a second? Second. There's a motion and a second. All in favor, please raise your hand. That is six in favor and none opposed. We have no invited guests or committee reports, so we'll move to the approval of the agenda. Is there a motion? Motion to approve tonight's agenda, January 2nd, 2022. January 10th. January 10th. January 10th. I'm sorry, January 10th. <laughs> There's a motion to approve the agenda as presented. Is there a second? Second. second. There's a motion and a second. All in favor, please raise your hand. That is six in favor and none opposed. We have nothing under our public hearing, consent agenda, or old business, and just one item under new business. We are flying through this agenda. We have item A, consideration and action on approval of engineering and design services for Wisteria Drive at the North Road intersection and authorization for the mayor to execute the contract. This is um, services, as I, as I stated in the title here, for Wisteria and North Road. We have a plan to put in some dedicated turn lanes. Um, and so this is for the design services of that uh, intersection improvement. Is there a motion? Motion to award the contract for engineering and design services for Wisteria Drive and North Road intersection to CHA in the amount of one thousand four hundred. I'm sorry, one hundred forty-four thousand forty-three dollars and forty-six cents, and to authorize the mayor to execute the contract. There is a motion. Is there a second? Second. second. There's a motion and a second. So all in favor, please raise your hand. That is six in favor and none opposed. That ends our business for tonight's meeting. So we'll move to council reports and we'll start with council member Solange Destang. Okay. I hope that you all have a wonderful holiday season. Yesterday, was National Law Enforcement Day. This day was set aside to appreciate those that put their lives on the line for us each and every single day. I want to thank Osnelva Police Department personally for protecting me and my neighbors and my entire neighborhood with two incidents that we had there recently, and also for keeping our city safe at all times. We really appreciate you. January is the birth month of Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. And we will be celebrating and recognizing his legacy throughout this month. Dr. King fought to change unjust laws 
for a better America and the world. Tonight, I sit here and represent all citizens of Snellville because of him. There is a short poem that I want to read for you, and the title of the poem is A Dream Can Come True. Martin Luther King, he had a dream for people everywhere. He wanted them to get along and show how much they cared by helping one another and by always being fair. So remember Martin Luther King and help his dream come true by always treating others as you'd want them to treat you. I want to end my council report with a quote from the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. There comes a time when one must take a position that is neither safe, nor political, nor popular. But he must take it because conscience tells him it is the right thing to do. And on this note, I am going to um, wish you a safe journey home, okay? And stay safe out there with the COVID, and I will see you guys again real soon. Okay, good night. Thank you, Solange. Council Member Warner. I would just like to remind everybody that it was 42 years since the last time that Georgia brought home the national championship, and tonight we have an opportunity to hopefully close the drill and become national champions again. So I say go dogs, have a safe evening, and don't celebrate too much. Thank you, Todd. Councilmember Linsky. No report. Thank you. Councilmember Schultz. Well, you can see I have my red and black on. I'm ready to go, and I have my bulldog earrings on, so I am ready. I wasn't going to say anything more than go dogs, but I see Stephanie McDonald is in the audience, and I do want to recognize her. She, she's the executive director of Snellville Performing Arts, and they just recently were awarded several awards. I, I, may, I may be six awards for their production of Legally Blonde, and I believe if they were called the 2021 Regional Broadway Awards. Is that correct, so Stephanie? Broadway World Regional Awards, but they're all over the country, but this is the Broadway World Regional Program. Okay, well, congratulations, and we're extremely proud. <laughs> Thank you, Gretchen. Mayor Pro Tem Emanuel. Well, under threat of bodily harm, I'll just say go dogs. Everybody be safe on the way home. <laughs> Thank you, Dave. And echoing again, congratulations to Stephanie McDonald. And um, if you'd like to participate in the city's first ever uh, Martin Luther King Day of Service, uh, we have several projects at the park that we plan to implement, and we're looking for volunteers. Um, you can go to the city's website and just on the first page, there's a place to register. We do ask you to register. Some of the projects, you know, are kind of age dependent. So we just need to know how many of, of who's coming out. So um, plan to get involved. And I know uh, the Southeast Gwinnett Co-op is looking for volunteers on that day as well to deliver pizza to some of their um, constituents that they serve. Um, that day. So if you have transportation available and want to spend a little bit of time help delivering some pizzas, I know they'll be looking for some volunteers as well. And that will end my report and I will open the floor to public comment. Anyone would like to say anything? <laughs> we had a little tease there. Anyone else? Representative Mitchell. Hi, um, do you need my address? Yes, yes, please. Uh, still uh, 3332 Crossing Drive. I just want to remind everyone that we have recently done um, a lot of public outreach surrounding redistricting and specifically local redistricting and that this Thursday there is a meeting at uh, Gwinnett Justice and Administration Center, um, but also will be streaming online to get public feedback on the county commission proposed map and the school board proposed map. And so uh, we welcome more voices and more input. I just wanna make sure everyone is aware that's happening. Thank you. Seeing no one else, then I will entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. There's a motion, is there a second? Second. There's a motion and a second. Don't everybody yell at once. All in favor, raise your hand. That is six in favor and none opposed. Thank you all for coming out and uh, go Bulldogs.